Good morning and welcome to Morning Praise and Prayer on this Wednesday morning at 8 a.m. Our service is based on the first service in the Methodist Worship Book of Britain in order for morning prayer in the United Methodist Hymnal and the prayer list for Newark, the United Methodist Church for the week of December 20th, 2020. O oh Lord, open our lips. And we shall declare your praise. Loving God, we have come to worship you. New every day is your love, great God of light. And all day long you are working for good in the world. Stir up in us desire to serve you, to live peacefully with our neighbors, and to devote each day to your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. So our first scripture is from 2 Samuel chapter 7, verses 1 through 11. Now when the king was settled in his house, and the Lord had given him rest from all his enemies around him, the king said to the prophet Nathan, See now, I am living in a house of cedar, but the ark of God stays in a tent. Nathan said to the king, go, do all that you have in mind, for the Lord is with you. But that same night, the word of the Lord came to Nathan, go and tell my servant David, thus says the Lord, are you the one to build me a house to live in? I have not lived in a house since the day I brought up the people of Israel from Egypt to this day, but I have been moving about in a tent and a tabernacle. Wherever I have moved about among all the people of Israel, did I ever speak a word with any of the tribal leaders of Israel, whom I commanded to shepherd my people Israel, saying, why have you not built me a house of cedar? Now therefore thus you shall say to my servant David, thus says the Lord of hosts, I took you from the pasture from following the sheep to be prince over my people Israel. And I have been with you wherever you went and have cut off all your enemies from before you. And I will make for you a great name, like the name of the great ones of the earth. And I will appoint a place for my people Israel and will plant them so that they may live in their own place and be disturbed no more. And evildoers shall afflict them no more as formerly from the time that I appointed judges over my people Israel, and I will give you rest from all your enemies. Moreover, the Lord declares to you that the Lord will make you a house. And our gospel today is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verses 46 to 55. And Mary said, my soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on, all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. Let us give thanks to God for the love of our father, the maker of all, the giver of all good things, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the world's beauty and the changing seasons, for the life that we have been given, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lived and worked among us, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God for his suffering and death on the cross and his resurrection to new life. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For his rule over all things and his presence in the world, 
Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the Holy Spirit, the giver of life, who teaches and guides us, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the grace of the Spirit, in the work of the church, in the life of the world, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. What are you grateful to God for today? Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Now as we move into our time of intercession, let us lift up our concerns to God. Eternal God, loving parent, we pray for the church throughout the world, for this church and all who call it home, that in faith and unity, we may be constantly renewed by your Holy Spirit for mission and service. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the peoples of the world, for the leaders of the nations, that they may seek justice, freedom, and peace for all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our country, for those who have authority and influence, that all may serve one another in wisdom, honesty, and compassion. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those among whom we live and work. For all our neighbors. For those who have lost work or at risk of losing their jobs. For families who have lost loved ones this week. All who grieve. For those who are finding it difficult to work from home. Those alone and who feel forgotten. For those affiliated with the University of Delaware. For those who are without a home or at risk of losing their home. For first responders, police officers, paramedics, EMTs, firefighters, and support personnel. For organizations and volunteers who are feeding those in need, may they have enough resources to meet that need. For students, teachers, administrators, staff, parents, and others who support them. For local businesses struggling in these difficult times. For those experiencing food insecurity and those finding it difficult to make ends meet. For those who are in prison and their friends and family. For those with or suffering from the after effects of COVID-19. For individuals and families facing difficult decisions. For strength and safety for all caring for those with COVID-19. For our governmental leaders. And for those we might name aloud or silently now. The uh, new program for the homeless in the community began yesterday. So the former Sheraton has been purchased by the state and is working with Friendship House, I guess, and some others. So just prayers for success for, for that program. Uh, that, that, it'll touch, that, that it'll touch will be truly blessed through it. And also I wanna lift up, uh, you know, all the road crews who have been out late last night treating the roads and who will be out um, that they are safe this day as well. Mm -hmm. That we may so use your gifts that together we might find joy in your creation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, hear our prayer. We pray for all in sorrow, need, anxiety, or sickness, and for the cares of this community. 
for those struggling with drug and alcohol addictions. For those suffering with mental health issues. Those who are victims of domestic violence. With gratitude for prayers answered for relief from extreme back pain. With gratitude for prayers answered for finding a job. For successful treatments for the one undergoing treatment for leukemia. For a member's family who joined the church triumphant and for his family as they grieve his passing. For healing and relief from pain caused by a broken elbow and sprained shoulder, arm, wrist, and thumb. For healing and pain relief of pain caused by an ulcer-like condition that manifests itself due to stress. For continued healing and strength as doctors run tests to determine causes of breathing difficulty. For a member's grandson, a UD student who tested positive for COVID. For the family and friends of recently lost loved ones. For the comfort and strength for the member who lost his wife recently. For a member's daughter-in-law who is 26 weeks pregnant and two-year-old grandson who have both been diagnosed with COVID. Attitude for prayers and for being home after being hospitalized. For those who have lost loved ones and can't be with family to grieve. For healing and comfort for a friend diagnosed with lymphoma cancer. For a teen with drug addiction and guidance for the family to seek professional help for him. For friends who a friend who is having knee problems and now uses a cane. For peace and healing to all those exposed to or suffering from COVID. For the one in need of prayers after biopsy on an optic artery. For an elderly friend who is in the hospital and who just had a hip replacement and will be having a biopsy this week. For good results for the one who will have a second bone marrow biopsy and subsequent ability to go home. For a former pastor's daughter who has COVID and is home in her apartment trying to get through this. For safety for teachers, staff, students, and their families. For travel mercies for all those who need who, who need or choose to travel over the holidays. For a family member who is home after COVID hospitalization, but will be dealing with long-term effects. For the medical team trying to figure out the source of post-op pain and for the one in pain. And for others we might name aloud or silently. God, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your son. We pray you accept and answer our prayers, not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May God bless you, filling you to overflowing with so much joy that you can't help but proclaim with delight my soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor upon me. Amen.
I hope you have a wonderful day. You too. Thank you. You do the same. You too.